one major design challenge is how do you help direct and guide an international audience that is coming to attend the games to find their way around a venue, find their way around an airport. In Tokyo 1964, they understood that people would not be speaking the Japanese language. So they came up with this idea of creating pictograms. When you get to 1968, Lance decided to interpret pictograms in a whole new way. You know, at first I wasn't sure that we shouldn't just pick up and carry on with the stick figures. And uh, it was Ramitas Vasquez and actually a student group that developed the idea of coming in and focusing on a part of the human body or a piece of equipment and doing it in a way that looked more like Mexico. It was Ramitas Vasquez who set the tone I was just a guy that went there and fell in love with it. A lot of the things we did in Mexico out in the street has to do with wayfinding. Now it's got a term. Uh, then it didn't have a term, but this was a whole other world of iconography. My whole career is kind of based right in this one moment of my career, iconography that expressed other things besides sporting events. We take it for granted now, but that was a huge change, that idea that we could tell stories with icons, um, of course leading to you know, our, our phones today. Lance's iconography lines up with the logo perfectly. I mean, they're made of the same stuff. And then Josep does the same thing with the 92 Olympics. It was like eight years after the digital revolution. And so how incredible was it when Joseph does this simple handwork? The logo gave me the idea of the pictograms. I said, well, I'm going to experiment and see what happens. I had a supper with um, Mr. Eicher in my presentation of this project, and he liked it very much. Eicher was the designer who made the most wonderful refinement of the sports pictograms in the history of the Olympic Games. Geometry helped Asher to do what he did, but Barcelona, Barcelona is different. We are not Germans. Pictograms now can work, you know, they still have to work functionally, they still have to work on a ticket, but they can also be integrated with the actual designs of the core graphics. One of my favorite games were the Lillehammer games. They based all their pictograms off of cave paintings from Norwegian history that go back thousands of years. The brilliant examples of the Lillehammer pictograms were of great inspiration for me because we have quite a lot of ancient history in Athens. The human form that we did create was drawn from the Cycladic figures in our culture and also the detail was similar to the ancient Greek vases. So it was only a matter of expressing our heritage in a modern way. Just the name pictogram, Chinese character, was form pictogram to start with. The earlier Chinese writing are symbols. The one which was finally been chosen got everyone's attention. It looked like Chinese character, but same time recognizable by international audience. These athletes are just the pinnacle of physical endeavor. So we should be creating iconography that feels like it's moving. It should feel as dynamic as the athletes are. So part of the identity was a very, very cool typeface that was drawn specifically for uh, these games. And so what we did is chopped it up. We collect all those shards up, and then you get a sportsman who's doing the, who's doing the kind of quintessential pose of that sport, whether it's LeBron doing the basketball or Beckham doing the football, and overlay those shards onto that figure which then makes your pictogram. Everything was designed with very close consultation with each of those expert bodies. I remember having incredible conversations with the boxing guys about how the glove should work, and the cyclists, the angle of the helmet as they are kind of getting that final burst of energy. And then the Equestrian Society had a very, very particular point of view. So how you depict a horse 
has to be accurate, but also in the spirit of the animal and how you're going to be jumping with that thing. So you hand over all the assets and then the advertising guys get involved or the, the, the people that actually put it into the, the stadia get involved and, and you don't have any control over that, you hand it over. There was a good year and a bit between the finish and then kind of seeing the stuff. And you just can't describe the feeling of seeing something that is your baby, your work, that you've created so carefully on the side of a stadium.